Hello people, welcome to my channel. Those um, of you that always uh, they follow my works constantly and those who just got onto this channel and maybe received this video as first. What I needed to say in this video is there is one fact that is in a way a revelation. It is truly a revelation that it shouldn't even be a revelation. A revelation. What revelation is he talking about? It is revealing. That's why it is revelation. It is revealing our issues in this world. The truth of our issues, why we even have them. Of all the issues, no matter what issues we have, I'm telling you, the truth is we do not listen. We do not listen to each other. And we think we cannot change anything. We think we always find excuse why not to listen to someone or to ourselves. The biggest problem is that it's, it's not really the issue that we don't listen to others. We truly do not listen to ourselves. We truly do not listen to ourselves. As I could say right now and exclude myself. Maybe you don't listen to yourself. And because you don't listen to yourself, if you do not listen to yourself, you are also not able to hear others beside yourself. Now, if we would truly listen to each other, we would figure out so many beautiful things that we keep each of us for one another. So many beautiful things, so many precious things, so many precious moments that we keep, that we hold inside of us. No matter they come from pain or from joy, these are all precious moments, precious, precious to each of one of us. Precious moments, the realities, the worlds within ourselves that we keep. The worlds that are consequences, the realities that are consequences of all our experiences that we gain through life's, life's. What this means, life's. I want you to ask yourself one thing. Why are you hearing from certain sources about a thing called reincarnation? And why in the mainstream reality, I would say. You know, the mainstream reality is truly produced and reproduced by certain religions, by certain authorities that keep a hold of the whole world. They keep a hold of you. Why is it so impossible to understand that you are not a body that you dwell in? Your body is a dress. You are you, you within yourself. Your body is a dress, your body is a uniform for your character that you play in this one life, which is a tiny episode, a spit in the sea, a spit in the ocean of your reality, of your true inner reality, of your true ultimate reality, of you being you. You understand, whatever name, whatever character, whatever personality you represent right now, that might truly not be you. That might be only a tiny piece of you. Are you willing to accept that you live and live and live and live, constantly live and live and live, and exchange in these costumes for the theater of life, for the theater of the world, that you come to play your role, that you come to experience the difficulties, the advantages of a certain role? Are you willing to accept that? Do I need to sound upset? That we truly start listening to each other. And that, that I get attention from you. I tell you peacefully. Without being upset. There are certain realities that are really, really diverse. And that you need to go through. That you need, just, that you need to ask yourself, is it really only one time that I live in a body on this earth? Is it really only one time that I am... I would say differently, yes, this individual you can be only this time, never ever before you've been the same, and never ever again you will be the same. But you're true you, because you're not a body, you're a soul, you're the one that is within that body. The true you, are you willing to accept that you were here so many times before? Are you willing to accept that heaven and hell exist beyond and here? Are you willing to accept that it is not a place but a state that your soul puts itself into? And by the state that your soul dwells in that turns into your physical, material environment. 
So as you dwell in your own pain, your own frustration, in the veil that is put across your eyes, over your eyes, over your spiritual eye, is that the veil that you, because of that veil, you basically gone through hellish life on earth? And if that, if that veil is removed off your spiritual eye, that you truly dwell in the real environment that, which, that you come from, and that you come from the environment of the light, because that's where you come from, and you truly understand that you do come from heaven, and that you do return to heaven, and that you have a possibility right now to live in heaven. That you do not have to die to live in heaven. That you do not have to die to live heavenly life. I'm not asking you in the frames of right now society. I'm asking you in the frames of what we could have on this earth. I'm asking you to figure it out whether is it possible or not. But not only you, because one voice counts. But all of them together decide. And we might live in peace one day. We just might. Not that we might. Forget about that. We will. And we are headed towards that. No matter how bad it looks like, no matter how dry the bones are. Yo, yes, believe me, everything will come true. And you can already be peaceful for that. The love is gone around and is being spread. And the knowledge and the wisdom, how to get to it too. May peace be with you and love and everything that it entails in order that you would be happy. Thank you for listening.